benefits of household chlorine bleach, sodium hypochlorite. It kills germs. That's the bottom line. It can sanitize, you know, from your floors to your toilet bowls, to even down to cut flowers, uh, kills weeds, you know, brightens your clothes up. But uh, let's talk about water purification, which is uh, what we're going to explore today. The treatment we're going to describe today is for sanitizing water. And if the water is unsafe due to bacteria or viruses, but I want you to also remember that if you suspect that there is chemicals or oils or poison substances, such as, uh, you know, like sewage or contaminants, don't drink the water. Uh, this is a safety explanation of water that is basically safe. And I'll explain. There's two primary ways of treating water. One is boiling or adding bleach. In my opinion, boiling is always the, the most safest method, but I understand that in a disaster situation, you might not be able to uh, boil your water. If the water is cloudy, try to filter it before you boil or add bleach. And you can do that by a coffee filter, paper towel, cheesecloth, anything uh, to get some of the substances out of it. If you do boil it, by the way, uh, take and, and have it do a rapid boil for one minute and then just let it cool. But uh, using Clorox bleach is usually typically between five and six percent. And don't use any uh, Clorox bleach that contains perfumes and dyes and additives. You don't, you don't even want that. And these are the volumes and quantities uh, that you want. One quart, which is one liter, you would add three drops if the water, for instance, is very cloudy, uh, then you add five drops. And you let that sit in there for approximately uh, 30 minutes. If it's cloudy, of course, double it, 60 minutes. So everything is doubled here. One half gallon, which is two quarts, which is two liters, you would add five drops. But if it's a cloudy one, you add 10 drops. And so everything is being doubled. One gallon, one eighth teaspoon. Five gallons, one half teaspoon. If it's 10 gallons, one teaspoon. And of course you double it if it is cloudy. And the same principle goes if it's clear water, you know, you let it sit for 30 minutes. If it's cloudy water, 60 minutes. But let's talk about if it's extremely dirty. Uh, it's just not surface water, for instance. Let's say you go to a pond and it's pretty filthy. Uh, I'm not talking about dead animals or something in there, but let's say there's, a, you know, it's pretty dirty water. What you'll want to do is even double it again. So that means one half gallon, two quarts, which is two liters. You don't put 10 drops in it, you would put 20 drops in it. And instead of 60 minutes, you let it sit for two hours. The problem with this that you can get such a high level of chlorine in your water that it basically makes it unsafe to drink regardless. And so what you want to do in that situation is take the lid off and let it air. And you do that for approximately two hours and then you transfer it into a clean container and just pour it in there and by this it off gases the chlorine. If you do this several times until there is a very light chlorine smell then you know it's safe to drink. Uh, you can add too much like I said and that would be detrimental to your health. It can actually destroy the stomach lining. So those are the little uh, tips and tricks on water purification using Clorox bleach. I hope you enjoyed it.